welcome to a new video of Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this mat. You can either use it as a bath mat or as a um, um, something for in the kitchen or a um, um, doormat, your front door or your back door or you know it is for use inside of your house. Um, I highly recommend to use a anti-slip mat um, is it called anti-slip let me see um, non-slip grip mat yeah I highly recommend to use that Otherwise. mine measures let's see the inside measures about um, 60 centimeters by 40 centimeters and um, the outer side with the border is uh, 66 centimeters and 46 in inches that will be on the inside 22 and a half is it, or is it 23 23 inches nearly 24 23 and a half inches and 16 inches and with a border it is all it's a little over 25 inches almost 26 and 18 inches so 26 by 18 with the border If you want to make yours and you want to make it bigger, then you need more material than I'm going, going to tell you in the video. If you make it smaller, the amount of material that I'm going to tell you in a video will be enough. I love working on this one. Thank you, iShards, for providing today's yarn. Um, they sent me the yarn, this yarn, this um, yarn of the border I bought myself. Um, but iShards, thank you for this beautiful saver chain color yarn i loved working with it anyway guys um please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel hit that little notification bell so you will get notified every time i upload another video and please enjoy watching the video bye for now okay for this tutorial i'm going to use the cakes panda this is a, is a super soft um, 100% microfiber yarn, 100 grams, 100 meters per uh, cake. Uh, knitting needles 6 to 7 millimeter, millimeter are suggested and it is a, a super bulky yarn, number 6. I only used half, about half a skein. Um, for my size I used two skeins, which is one pack of the Saver Chain Color Pink Shades Maroon. 5mm uh, knitting needles are suggested. It is a medium worsted weight number 4 yarn, 200 grams, 240 meters per skein, 50 gram, uh, sorry, 50% 50 acrylic and 50% polyamide. This is not a super soft yarn. This is a yarn that is um, super good for mats, baskets, um, something that needs to be a little stiff. I don't suggest this yarn for clothing, but maybe if it has been into the washing machine, it is different. I don't know, because I haven't tried that yet. But um, for my size of a doormat because I'm making a doormat you can make it a bath mat if you like uh, I use just two skeins if you want to make a bigger mat then um, I would su suggest to use uh, to buy another pack to use three or four skeins because this is all I have left of my two skeins right then I'm going to use um, for both yarns a five and a half millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle to sew in all my ends, 
and a measuring tape and this tutorial is in US terms because I'm not really good with the uh, UK terms okay okay let's get started oops there is something else that you need a non-slip grip mat this is what you need I don't know uh, where to buy this in your uh, area or um, we can buy this um, in your local stores but look for a non-slip grip mat mine is 125 by 45 centimeters um, and I already cut out the piece that I need I didn't do anything about the uh, width um, I just cut it in the length because look this is the same width see I just cut the length um, I make my mat uh, put this um, on top of the mat and just um, cut it you don't have to sew this um, onto your mat you can just um, lay it down on your floor and lay the mat on top of it and it has the grip super super nice right okay i'm sorry about that but this is what you also need okay i already did my big piece so therefore i'm going to show you in on a small swatch how you should um or how to make this mat Start off with a slip knot on your hook and for my size I did 60 chains um, because you need a multiple of 3 and 60 is a multiple of 3. Now for this small one I'm going to do 18 chains. So if you're doing the same size as I did for my big piece, then you're doing 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If you're doing 60, then pause the video until you have... 60 or the um, amount that you need for your size and what you could do is uh, when you did the chain you could get your um, measuring tape and measure your size okay now when you did your number of uh, stitches like I told you before I did 60 then add two chains two you need one chain for the last ending stitch on this side and you need one to turn your work or you need one to start off your first um, stitch we're skipping the first chain stitch and into the second from the hook so this is the one the one on your hook never counts as you, as a stitch, so therefore, skipping one, going to the second, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, and pull through two. Sorry about that. All right, um, and then in the same stitch, two double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over in the same stitch. And make another double crochet. Now skip two stitches. One. One, two. And go into the next stitch and make a single crochet and two double crochets in the same stitch one two 
skip two stitches one two and in the next stitch single crochet and two doubles one and two skip two stitches and in the next single crochet and two doubles and this is what you do all the way across skip two stitches single crochet and two doubles in the same stitch two doubles skip two single and two doubles and then at the end of the row you have three stitches left one two three skip two and in the very last stitch just single crochet and that's it next row chain one turn your work and into the very first stitch here which actually is the single crochet of your previous row insert your hook make a single crochet and two double crochets into the same stitch skip two stitches and in the stitch here the next stitch that actually is again the single crochet of the previous row insert your hook make a single crochet and two double crochets into this same stitch and this is the uh, repetition of this round skip two stitches work in the single crochets of the previous round only previous row I should say row only and make a single crochet and two doubles into that stitch skip two single crochet and two doubles in the same stitch Skip two, single, and two doubles. Skip two, single, crochet, and two double crochets. skip two and in the very last stitch skip two I said and in the very last stitch which is a little on the side there is the single crochet at the beginning of this round just a single crochet in there and that's it and then you did two rows I keep on messing up with rounds and rows so forgive me for that but hopefully you know what I mean All right okay next row um, the row that we just did is actually what we will be doing for the rest of the mat so I'm gonna show you this one more time chain one turn your work and into the very first stitch here which is the single crochet of your previous row single crochet and two double crochets one and two now skip two stitches and into the single crochet here a single crochet and two double crochets skip two 
single crochet and two double crochets. And if you find it hard to see what I'm doing, hold on, let me show you. Skipping one, two, and here, there, there it is, the single crochet. Insert your hook there, okay? Single crochet and two doubles in the same stitch. Skip two, single, and two doubles. Skip two, single, and two doubles. And when you reach the end of your row, skip two, and a little on the side, there is your single crochet. Be sure that you uh, insert your hook underneath the two strands of yarn. So uh, that looks something like that. Two strands of yarn, see? Grab your yarn and make a single crochet. And then you did already three rows. Now, this is what you keep on doing. Just adding rows just like I showed you. Um, and in the next clip, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you how many rows I did for my piece. So if you want yours to be bigger and you're using the same yarn, then you need more yarn than I used. Okay? Um, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, um, this is my mat. I did 65 Uh, rows. Okay, it's without a border. I did 65 rows. Single crochet in your last stitch. Then chain one, cut your yarn, which I already did in my Dutch video, and then pull through. Okay, now for my big piece, I did 65 rows. I have my yarn tail on this side and I have a yarn tail on that side. If you are a lefty, it is just uh, you have it on this side. Right? Okay, now I got my cake span down, starting off with a slip knot on my hook. Insert your hook in the very first single crochet at the beginning of the round and have the right side facing you. So the right side of your work facing you. My strands of yarn are on this side, okay? Insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull through the loop on your hook. Then chain four. One, two, three, four. The chain four is um, your very first treble crochet. Now yarn over twice, go to the next stitch and work over your yarn tail, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Hold it. Now you have two um, loops on your hook, one, two. Yarn over twice, go to the next stitch, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That is a treble crochet together, two treble crochet together. Yarn over twice, go to the next stitch, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then you have two stitches on your hook. Yarn over twice, go to the next stitch, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have three stitches on your hook, yarn over and pull through, through all the stitches. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, two stitches on the hook. 
yarn over twice, go to the next stitch, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, now you have one, two, three stitches on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three stitches. This is what you do until you are at the end of this row, then I'll be back and I'm going to show you how to do this corner. If you have one stitch short, um, then insert your hook just in the same stitch and finish your uh, two treble crochet together. Uh, don't worry, because you won't be able to see um, that you just uh, did another extra stitch. Alright? Okay, before the corner, I have one stitch left. Like I said, um, this can happen. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're just doing a two double crochet together in one stitch. She won't even be able to see it with this beautiful fluffy yarn. All right? Um, now, into the corner, five double, no, five treble crochet. In Dutch, it actually is, you say, um, stokje. And when it is a double one, like we do a treble, he, he, you know, you say treble, we say double, double. So, you know, that's why I go um, wrong with stitches every now and then. All right, uh, yarn over twice and go into the corner stitch here and do five treble crochet in one stitch. enough to do five trebles to go around the corner then do another one doesn't matter as long as your work doesn't do that it'll be fine okay so if it lays down flat on your surface you're good to go yarn over twice now you might find this intimidating because you need to find your stitches. But actually it is really easy. I'm going to work over my yarn tail so I don't have to sew that in. So yarn over twice and try to find the stitches. Here on every end of a row there is a little space. Work in the spaces. Let me show you guys. Yarn over twice and go to the first space here. There. Insert your hook and make an unfinished treble crochet. Yarn over twice again, go to the next one, which is here. Insert your hook. Make an unfinished treble until you have three stitches left. Yarn over and pull through all three. And as you can see, I'm working over that yarn tail. Now, for me, this is just a short row until I am at the corner. There you go. But the same here, if you miss out on the stitch that you need to work in to do your treble, don't worry, just do two treble crochet together in one stitch, right? Again, I am at the corner, and in every corner we'll need five or Maybe you need six, but I have enough with five treble crochets in the same stitch. Three. Four. On this side of your work, you need to find the chain stitches that we created at the beginning of our mat. So just work into the chain stitches. 
one unfinished treble crochet go to find the next chain stitch and work in there and finish your two treble crochet together this is what you do for the whole chain the whole beginning chain right in the corner five treble crochets not five um, not five uh, treble crochets together just five regular treble crochets when you are here I'll be back to show you guys what to do next okay I did my very last stitch um, now here at the beginning we did a chain of four and the chain four was basically the same as the treble crochet so in every corner I made five treble crochet so into this stitch in the very first one I still need four treble crochet if you did uh, six or maybe even seven treble crochet in your corners then you need to do as much in this stitch as you did before in every corner all right so one two three and four and the one that we did at the beginning is five now now you need to find a stitch to attach um, the end of the row with um, you can feel the stitches just feel it and feel if you whenever you found a stitch insert your hook there there you go grab your yarn and pull through chain one cut your yarn leave a little bit of a tail end so you can sew that piece of yarn in on the back side of your work and this is what my little piece looks like and this is what my little piece looks like uh, I think I'm going to use it just on my desk to lay down my um, crochet stuff on that I'm using in the video in the next videos but the bigger piece is right here um, at the very beginning of the video I told you guys um, how big it is it is um, let me think 18 by 26 inches uh, including the border and um, yeah I, I really really did love working on uh, this piece so if you want to use ice yarns uh, you want to use the same yarn that I use then please go down to the description box of this video um, they do have this in a lot of different colors um, same with the panda the cakes panda they do have that in a lot of other colors so if you want to match your um, basic mat with the border and you want to match the colors um, just have the um, two um, screens together and see if it if you can find the perfect match for you um, thank you so much for watching please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel um, hit that little notification bell so you will get notified every time I upload another video and in the um, title of the video I always mention if it's either a Dutch video or an English video so if you're not familiar with my language and you are you don't want to watch the Dutch videos then um, yeah you know that it is a Dutch or an English video right anyhow um, thank you please enjoy um, every single thing that you're making and uh, bye for now Um, so in the next clip I'm going to tell you guys what you need and I forgot to mention that you need the, in the uh, anti or the non slip mat but I took a little other video after um, I did the material list and um, I told you uh, that you, you should need it you need it right um, I love 
coffee. Single crochet in your last stitch. I did 65 rows in total for my big piece. Then chain one, cut your yarn. What I already did, I already did. <laughs> Single crochet in your very last stitch, and uh, I did 65 rows in my Dutch video. Nee, see, in the Engels ook. Okay, my next yarn, which is the Cakes Panda. Start off with a slip knot on your hook. There you go. Then go to, if you are right-handed, go to the right side of your work in the top. If you are left-handed, it is on the left side. Okay, insert your hook in the, um, or the um, right side is facing you, so I have my strands of yarn on this side. No, then, um, Insert your hook in the single crochet at the beginning of the row, grab your yarn and pull through the loop on your hook. There you go. I'm working over my yarn tail so I don't have to sew it in later on. Then do a chain of four and that is the very first double um, treble crochet. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to work um, two treble crochets together over the next two stitches. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in the next stitch, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then you have two stitches left on your hook and they're hard to see but you can feel the stitches. If you move your finger over the uh, hook you can feel two stitches. Yarn over again twice. Then go to your next stitch, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the last two stitches. That is one treble crochet together. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the next stitch, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the next stitch, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over twice, insert your hook. I gotta do that again, I did it wrong. Okay, knippen en opnieuw. 